So we're at the 2024 American Muscle Show. We've got a lot of things packed here. We've got some races, a monster truck that's going to be crushing a lot of junkyard cars. And of course, we have this fake dark horse as well. Uh, if I'm being honest, I kind of like how it looks. I really dig the look. It, they're using some of the SY50 parts like that front splitter, even the GT500 spoiler in the back. But I kind of like how they did it. It looks a little different because it's got the glossy finish as opposed to matte black eye bags but i like it well that's where we kind of parked i was able to find a spot right next to my twin very very similar build to mine uh we got tons of mustangs in the back as you can see a lot of shelby's that i see some dark horse as well too so we're going to take a look at those dark horse and you got a lot of vendors over there we're going to go ahead and stop by maybe get some insight on some of the tuning for a 650 mustang that would be interesting this is the monster truck that is going to be crushing some of the junkyard cars uh, later today, so it's gonna be exciting. I think they're making the announcements. I'm gonna head over to the track for some of the races and the junkyard crash. So the monster truck completely flipped and that does not look good. I hope he's okay. As you can see, the truck is not in a good condition. So we're going to stop that. I think look at the damage the truck has done on these cars. They're completely crushed. Now they're getting lined up for some burnout. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. That was short lived, but that was gnarly, man. <laughs> All right, he's not done. You can go again one more time, Noel. Okay, so that was a lot of fun seeing some races and also the monster truck just kind of crushing those cars. We're back at the car show now and we're starting off with the 2024 Mustang Dark Horse. This one looks to be bone stock, uh, maybe carbon traps removed, but I can't tell that. Uh, but yeah, it looks really good. I love how the Dark Horse looks, especially the front splitter. The 2024 Mustang GTs have a very, very conservative splitter. Um, this is the Performance Pack 2 Mustang GT, probably a 2019 with a blower on it. So that looks really aggressive. And from the outside, it looks really stock. So you really won't know what you're messing with. I do like the splitter design. It's one of the ones I'm considering for my car, like a replica Performance Pack 2, or even something like what this Mach 1 has, the the double chin splitter basically i do like these as well and i think the orange mustang also has a splitter that is up in the running i think the mach 1 looks the best the second option would be probably the performance pack 2 and third would be that orange but yeah this one just has a i don't know just more weight to it this one looks very thin and flimsy but i've been wanting to get a front splitter for the car so we'll have to make the decision very soon all right, so we got 2024 Grabber Blue Dark Horse here. Just love how it looks. I think the whole S650 is growing on me. Of course, Dark Horse looks a lot more aggressive than the GT that we just looked at. But this one, he's got Canon drop-in filters. Exposed filters look really good. Probably not much for the power because you really can't tune them. Or even if you could, not much gain to be had. But I like the exposed filter look. Just overall, the S650, the side profile and everything, just very aggressive. Starting to grow on me, that's for sure. Look at that. Especially the wing on the back. This one doesn't have the track pack, but the wing isn't as aggressive as I remember from one of the Ford shows. But tips look really good. Matte black tips, 5-inch tips. Very aggressive rear end. Uh, I've always liked the rear end of the S650, but... This one's definitely growing on me in terms of the front end too that we just looked at. The only thing I would change about the rear end would be this area. But other than that, they look really aggressive. Some meaty tires, lower stance, really good. 
Now we got another Dark Horse in white. I did see Italian Stallion earlier, so I wonder if that's his. I don't know, I didn't see him get in um, to the car or anything, but it might be his. But the Dark Horse looks really good. I've, I've been seeing a lot of Dark Horse here, more than actually, surprisingly, more than just the normal GTs. But yeah, this one looks very good. Uh, it's starting to rain a little bit, so people are heading back. This is where we are. Uh, we got another buddy, as you can see, a third person also lined up. So you got three race red GTs. Very similar builds. Of course, one of them is stock performance pack, but just love it. Love how they look. Um, but yeah, it's starting to rain. People are starting to leave. Um, it they were calling for rain, but we weren't expecting it to be that early. So let's see how that's gonna pan out. And we got another Mustang Dark Horse. Man, I've been seeing a lot of Dark Horses today. This one's actually parked right next to the S550 Mustang, so it's nice to be able to kind of see them side by side. Uh, the S550 does look aggressive, but I think this one looks a little bit better now, especially Dark Horse just having those graphics and additional things like the front splitter. Just kind of makes it, uh, looks like he tracks it. He's got 24 on it, so maybe he tracks it, or he's just saying it's a 2024 Mustang. But yeah, that looks good. 2024 Mustang in black. Got a nice blacked out look. Kind of like it. Performance pack. Got the dual throttle body right here. I just saw a Whipple S650 Mustang too here. I'll try to go and record that one. But this one looks really good. The back end I really like. I don't know if I like this one. It's got aftermarket exhaust AWE. That's going to be good. Nice spoiler. We got a bunch of different cars here. We got some Corvettes too. Grabber Blue GT. And that's interesting. We got a Challenger with a convertible. I don't know if that's that's definitely aftermarket. I don't know if that'll make it. Love me a red Corvette. Racia. We got a 2024 GT again. Uh, this one does not have a performance pack with the white stripes. I don't know, I'm kind of getting warmed up to the S650 Mustang. Should I get one for the channel? I don't know. This looks good. Definitely, definitely love it in the black over there. Although that would kind of change the name of the channel, but I do like it definitely. The black one really catches my eye. Twin Turbo S197 Mustang GT with the 5.0. He's got to be making at least 1,000 plus horsepower. It's a really clean build. What I love about it is that it looks really, really stock. So if you came across this on the street and tried to play with it, from the outside you won't be able to tell, but it's going to give you some bust lines right there. <laughs> really nice build. All right, guys, so it's only 2 o'clock. It was supposed to last until 4 p.m., but because of the rain, a lot of people are, have decided to leave. So you can see all these cars leaving. So we're going to pack it up too because not much happening now. I hope you guys enjoyed this short coverage. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that like button 